All right, we should be live pretty soon. Actually starting early this time. Hopefully this is uh, not a bad idea. Let me uh, pop out the chat here if I can. Let me uh, pop out the... I have a little echo there at the stream up. Should all be in order now. Uh, setup's a little weird. I am um, trying to get all everything on one screen. I need to invest in a second screen. I have multiple monitors, but I have the ultra wide front and center. So it's a little bit tricky. So technical issues as always. All right, just let me know when uh, there's any issues. Uh, I tested the levels, sound levels before. Hopefully that's all good. So this game's got really weird controls and it doesn't have uh, default controls for X input. Let me, let me rewind a little bit. This is a game that just was released. I guess it's a sequel to a fan game called Castlevania The Lockhart Chronicles made by this, I'm assuming it's one person or a few a uh, small group of people done lots of different fan games and stuff this is probably one of the best uh most professional fan games for the castlevania series i've seen uh almost almost on the level of uh, amtmr for metroid but uh yeah it's pretty pretty awesome it's got like a custom soundtrack uh voice acting which is kind of surprising to me but the controls are a little bit weird. Um, it's got E, R, D, F, and P, O. Yeah, th those are some really weird controls, but uh, I don't know if they're remappable. The, the entire game is one EXE file, so it's a little bit, little bit on the um, not very customizable side, but we'll uh, just roll with it. All right, let's get into the game, shall we? Actually, let me, uh, let me, uh, spread this on Twitter and stuff like that real quick. We're early so we can do this. Hey, Deathbringer next. How's it going? Hope you're having a fantastic Sunday and our Mother's Day. Not a bad son. My mother's across the across the country right now, so Twitch is dumb. It didn't update. All right, that's fine. All right, let's get busy then. Um, new game. See, so yeah, I was actually surprised to hear there was voice acting in this game, as we'll see in a second. Seventeen eighty-one, outskirts of Rome. Five years after his great victory over the evil von Wilthein family. Efrain Lacard, a knight of the church, has been summoned by the Pope. He must look into reports of troubling events in France. Efrain is about to enter the worst nightmare imaginable. So yeah, it almost reminds me of... Uh... Oh, I don't have a link here. Just search the Lacard Chronicles too. It should be one of the first results on Google. I'll add a link in on the VOD or whatever. But um, yeah, it's a completely free downloadable thing. Um, it was just released like a couple weeks ago or a couple days ago even. 
Um, let me just get used to these controls here. All right, so that's attack. Let's jump. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty cool little game here. Um, I was recommended the first one, but I, I woke up this morning to see, I think on Reddit or something like that, this game came out. So I was like, oh, okay, that could be kind of cool. I was actually planning to stream Dead Cells today, but this one sounded a bit more unique. And apparently everybody's streaming Dead Cells today, so... I'm sure I'll stream that eventually. That game looks pretty cool, too. Oh, can't. Little hoppers. Damn it, little hoppers. I hate these guys. <laughs> Why do you have to bring these guys back? You can see it's a very much a Castlevania game. Um, esque game. Obviously, it's not a real Castlevania game. But, uh, definitely got a sort of. Like, I tried to explain. It's kind of like Rondo. If Rondo and Blood. Rondo of Blood and Castlevania Symphony of the Night had a baby, basically. It's kind of like this. Pretty good for a fan game. Some of the pixel art's a little bit iffy, but considering it's a fan game, it's pretty damn good, I gotta say. I'm wondering what uh, engine they built this in. Oh. I can't double. Oh, maybe I had to jump on the hook. Yeah, there we go. Like old school. Oop, I can't jump. Well, I'm on the, I can't attack while I'm on the hook, okay. Yeah, a little bit. Although it doesn't have those annoying outlines like on the GBA, which is, I kind of like. I know, I know why they did it, to kind of make things stand out, but I never liked the uh, thick colored outlines that they had on the GBA versions. But they were quite good. I'd say those are some of the best. Uh, I'd still say Symphony is still the best, though. Uh, okay. All right, I'm gonna jump over the psych pit. Hope it's not a one shot. I'm thinking these are, uh, this game probably goes along the lines of the, yeah, it's more along um, Symphony of Night where you just lose a couple damage, a couple HP rather than die instantly from spikes. Old games are a little bit more unforgiving that way. All right, yeah, the music and stuff isn't bad. It's a little little on the generic side, but I, I like it. It's well produced. The title screen music was actually pretty good. This is kind of like a boss, a mini boss. Yep. I suppose they have a uh, special ability. I don't know what it's about. Ah, I see. Oh, how did I just pause? Oh, space is paused. Sorry about that. Like I said the controls are a little bit. I'm gonna die here. I swear. Oh, got him. All right. I am low on health, though. Oh, what that was supposed to do. Is this going to break in now? Seems like that's going to have to break. Okay. Is that a uh, an escape there, I'm thinking? Wanted to see some stats here. All right. Uh, no, I can't get up there. All right. Yeah, the, tw unfortunately, Twitch doesn't have a listing for this game, so I had to list it under uh, Rondo Blood, which I fi figure was probably the closest comparison. But Twitch just has a limited um, selection of officially approved games, so I'm kind of stuck in here. What am I supposed to do? I miss something? Can't jump up there. I don't have a double jump. Would be nice if there was a, a hidden turkey in the walls like in the old games. Oh, hidden wall. Speak of the devil. Oh no. Unfortunately, that will not be enough to win this time. The demons you face will be much, 
Oh, he's pulling a Symphony Night, isn't he? Just steal my equipment. Yeah, they tried. It's definitely a fan game sort of uh, thing. I mean, some of the some of the art is actually quite good. Some of the art is, you know, like look at that parallax. Like if you look at the parallax with the multiple layers behind the layers, that's pretty good actually. But the uh, voice acting is a little bit on the cheesy side. But I mean, even Symphony Night wasn't exactly like stellar voice acting. Even though I'm a kind of a Symphony Night voice acting apologist. The death wasn't quite as good. The the one the voiceover in the beginning is actually not too bad, I can say. Oh, wow, he really chucks that thing, doesn't he? Drop down here. Alright, got my daggers. What is that up arrow there? Unleash the holy power. Hold down the R button and release it when your fire is fully charged. Random tutorial. Okay. Just give me a little bit of a hint, I guess. It's random that there was like no tutorials anywhere. Oh, it's just these tablets, I guess. Unleash the thunder. Up and R button to switch between Holy and Von Wilhelm powers. Okay, so, so up and that? I see. Increase my strength. Interesting. And the head, that's always good. These guys. I'm gonna die here. I'm not even hitting this one. Control's a little awkward. Not blaming the game. It's probably just my ineptitude. Really need to pull off this ability here, but. That's quite a charge up. Yeah, it's not going well. Yeah, keyboard controls. Um it wasn't working with my Xbox controller, so I, I'd have to do some sort of like a uh, joy to pad or whatever, and I didn't have the time to set that up. So unfortunately, keyboard controls, and these are the really weird keyboard controls. I, I should try using a dagger, I guess. Thro throwing dagger. Oh, okay. It's not too hard, considering how badly I did. Double shot. I actually know that exact sound effect. I used that in a game like 10 years ago. Okay. Double shot. Uh, was that two daggers or? I'm not sure what that is. The music here is actually not bad. Oh, can I go through there? After vanquishing the evil looming over Rome, Ephraim Lacard journeyed to France. Darkness has engulfed the Duchy of Guillecourt. The common people speak of day turning into night, and about inhuman creatures lurking in the shadows. Terror 
has found a home in their hearts where faith once lived. One night during his journey, a vision materialized before a friend's eyes. A damsel overtaken by sorrow asked for his help, vanishing into the night just as suddenly as she had appeared. Who could she be? Does she know anything about the misery of the populace? Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Alucard a little bit, actually. The Alucard voice actor. Pretty good. Oh, there's a little bit of bloody tears in there. I like that. The song. Very, very subtle uh, Castlevania cues in his music. After many days and nights, Efrain reached Servini, where the most important mission of his life was about to begin. Interesting little cutscenes. Reminds me a little bit of Ninja Gaiden or something, the original. Of any game with awkward, without awkward steer controls. That's pretty cool. Little shop in here. Um, I don't know what I really want here. Uh, I think I used to run the cross. It's a pretty easy weapon to use. But I don't have enough gold for that. So. It's almost a little bit like uh, with these little townspeople and stuff. Almost like uh, Zelda 2, actually. Never played that game, the Harry Potter Philosopher's uh, Stone one. Well, of course, the Sorcerer's Stone here in the States. Edition, edition. Oh, I can record my progress. Basically, save, I'm guessing. Wonder if this is going to become more like uh, Simon's Quest. Can't tell yet. Oh, I can just. There's a lot of a whole lot of cash. That seems good. Can I get down there. How do I uh, get through there? Can I not do that? I guess. Huh. Weird. It's just there to tease you. you got here, buddy. Map. Wow, this stuff is really expensive. We need to get some more money. Like, perhaps the bottom of a well. Who knows? You should buy the broadsword in the shop before venturing the Dark Force ahead. Well, I'd like to buy the broadsword, but he's charging an arm and a leg for this stuff. How do I get that money in the well? It's just sitting there. Potions. East. Okay, maybe over here. They said there was like a statue. Oh, yeah, there it is. Save. Nice. Yeah, the art's a little inconsistent, but I, I like what they've done here. It's kind of got an interesting uh, style. A weird kind of follows like the rhythm of like a Castlevania game song, but the notes are just different. <laughs> kind of hard to get my head around. Yeah, I was thinking some sort of slide, or I I don't know if they're gonna get into like transformation or whatever, but I immediately thought of the wolf form or whatever from uh, Symphony, but five gold. I'm gonna maybe kill a lot of spiders to get that money. On bird. East. Okay, same as Valley. This has definitely got a sort of uh, Simon's Quest. It's a little bit Simon's Quest, a little bit uh, Rondo of Blood, a little bit. Oh, come on. A little bit Symphony. It's got the uh, RPG elements of Symphony, the kind of free roam puzzle stuff of Simon's Quest. 
up in this house. Oh, there's an abandoned house here. That's kind of interesting. Kick that door in. I'm sure they don't need that. And then I cannot get up there. Oh, I could probably jump down there, though. Skeletons in your basement is usually not a good idea. Ten gold. That's better than five. Ooh. None of that, sir. Alright, how much gold am I at now? I can't even tell. Oh, that's the map. That's cool. It's got the traditional Metroidvania map there. Oh, it's got a full inventory too. So I've got 70 gold. Oh, it looks like it's got the full uh, encyclopedia sort of thing from Symphony. Where you can look at the stats and the drops of different characters. That's pretty cool. Relics. Shoots two sub-weapons in a row. Okay, that's kind of cool. I have nothing else to equip. It's pretty cool. That's a lot, a lot into this game. Oh, this looks like a horrible place to be. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be here. It's the game is not really directing me, so it's kind of hard to say. Oh no! Oh no! Spike's bad. Sacred fire, huh? What was that? Divine Sword. Oh. Seemed to kind of have wasted my uh, mana there. Oh, I bet it means holy. Probably means holy fire. I mean, I don't have uh, holy water anymore. Oh, this is pretty, pretty rough here. Yeah, for some reason I don't believe I should be down here. It was this holy level one. Level max is increased. Oh, it uses up hearts then, huh? Well, that's cool. Hey, Grand Day FDW. How's it going? Nope, nope, nope. I have an axe now. Where did I get... Where did, I don't remember I got my... Uh, or I got rid of my... Uh, dagger. Let me get out of this dungeon here. I'm not sure if I'm high enough level for this area, really. Getting more money here, which means it's probably harder. Ooh, can I even get out of here? Ooh, that's not good. Um, that's not good at all. Oh, that's why I can't do axes. I'm out of hearts. Seems really bad. I'm really low on health, and I don't know where I'm going. Yep, yeah, really bad. I might be kind of stuck in here, actually. I'm back here, platform. Nope. Oh, yep, I'm dead. Okay, that's rough. They don't let you get out if you go back in there. Kind of sucks I got that uh, that bonus. Oh, hang on, let me... Uh... There we go. That's awkward. It resets the video mode when you uh, go in, when you restart the game. That's a little rough there. Yeah, that's rough. Maybe I shouldn't go in that uh, death pit. Doesn't seem I can get out until he finish the whole thing. 
Probably get some sort of item like double jump or whatever when I get back out. Need a better weapon, so I just need to focus on getting money, I guess. Oh, that was pretty cool. Death trap. Ooh, 50 gold. That was worth getting, jumping into a mystery hole. I still can't... Why can't I move under? There's got to be some sort of form or whatever. It's like little tiny, little tiny uh, minotaurs or something. It's kind of weird. Minotaurs, perhaps. All right, come on, crows. Drop all that money. All right, I think I'm probably most of the way there now. Oops. Oh yeah, almost. I think the item I was going for was 120. Can't get in this cave. Unless I'm missing something. Right, I want to go up the rope. Why can't I grab onto this rope? Um, I'm pressing up. Huh, that's odd. Maybe that's a rope I can't grab right now. I'm not crazy. Okay, so I can't jump up that rope for some reason. I really trust this place, honestly. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really, uh, not really feeling this place just yet. Oh, it's sunset. That's cool. I didn't know they had day-night cycles like that. Like, nice transitioning day-night cycles, not just, you know, daylight or midnight like in, uh, Simon's Quest. Pretty cool. Birds and mini tires everywhere. I should have enough to get a broadsword. They say you should get a broadsword before you go into the uh, dark forest. This is what the some random townsperson said. I'm assuming that's what. I'm assuming he's a really uh, knowledgeable guy. All right. Uh, I just want to see how I can get into those those little small crevices. So if I can buy that uh, broadsword, whatever it was. Let me see real quick, just in case there's something magically kills me. It's night time. Oh, all the doors are closed with doors that are kind of awkward looking, <laughs> to be honest. I can still go in them, though. And the stores are still open. Yeah, I mean, fan, uh, fan games, they don't have the budget or the, uh, the expertise. So, I mean, this is still looks really great considering uh, it's a fan game. Grab that broadsword. There we go. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm in the middle of moving. Um, like, half my house is packed up right now, so it'll be a little bit before my next video, but I just wanted to put some content up, you know, live stream and stuff, and kind of it's a stopgap, so that's the uh, inspiration behind this. Broadsword. Yeah, I do want to get into a more regular schedule. It's just a, I put so much time into each video I do that I, I don't, I can't just crank out like five videos a week like some people can. Especially considering I have like a full time job too. So, would like to be able to put more videos out, but 
right now I kind of have to do with do what I can do. So, dark forest as your lick. So it seems like my. Uh, how do I even get up here? There's so many like blocked ways that they don't really tell you how to get around them. I don't can't seem to get climb up this way unless I'm missing something. Yeah, I don't know. Must be some sort of uh, puzzle or something here. There was. I don't know if they expect you to get a. Uh, maybe I have to find some clues from the town people. Okay, broadsword. I have the broadsword. Okay. Potions. You'll need a flute to call the fairy minute as your lake. All right. So far, nothing. Oh, there's another rat this way. That's kind of interesting. Yeah, I'm thinking a double jump has got to be one of my next abilities. I think that's how you get out of that one area. Maybe if I, uh, I don't know if this game has level up, levels up or whatever, but maybe if I can buy some more equipment, armor and stuff, I can take on that, that one house. That house seems to be probably uh, one of my next areas I should go to. I do like how uh, little ruins house here. I do like how the game doesn't really. Wait, how did I get up there before? Didn't I get up there before? Maybe I was hit up there by a uh, enemy or something. That's weird. Oof, okay. Well, it seems like I'm in a little bit of a narrow area here since I can't really get past one or the first or second screen of these other routes, so I'll have to uh, take a look here. Wish you see about the wall? I think something fell inside the village as well. If only I could climb down there and see. I tried climbing down there, but I can't. I can't walk. Yeah, I wonder if that's how you're supposed to get up there, or if that was just a kind of uh, unintended. Okay, this is just stuff I already know. Yeah, I mean, I guess at this point, I just have to... We got 40 gold. I just have to save up for some uh, better equipment, probably some armor or whatever. Which is the armor. Oh, this guy just sells... Uh, Secondary items. Where was the guy who sold armor? You here or something? Probably. Oh, 80. Okay, so I should... That's a thousand. Oh, I'm saving up a thousand right now, but I'll buy the... I'll save it for the bronze armor. That should be good. I don't know if this game is that old school where they expect you to use the enemy's knockback to get into places. So that would be kind of rough. All right, let me get some more uh, save real quick, and then maybe get do a little bit of grinding to get that armor, and then probably try the uh, try the uh, other place again. Oh. Yeah, they really pulled a. Um, Simply the night on you early in the game here. They take away your best weapons and they lower your stats right off the begin right off the bat. Alright, spider. Mini Tars. I one shot him now, that's Try this voice again as it is, but I'd like to be able to take a few more hits than I can right now. Okay. What was this? Oh, right. I couldn't climb up this thing. What could I? It's so weird. They don't explain that at all. Huh? Uh. How much? I need 80, right? Oh, 95. Let me go back and real quick and buy that uh, armor then and then try it again. 
I'm always somebody who like grinds their way. <laughs> I hate hate rushing an area when you barely can do it. Just my playstyle, I guess. Come on, spider. These crows are annoying. I definitely have enough money now. All right. This is the beginning of the town. Let me uh, buy that armor real quick. I like the, the day and night cycles and the weather cycles. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. It's raining now and it's nighttime. I think these are actually not, not supposed to be doors. They're supposed to be like glows from the inside, but they should have made that brighter. Just from a graphics perspective, but not that big of a deal. Yeah. It, it for sure it depends on the game. Um, Castlevania, even the Metroidvania games, didn't really require a ton of grind, but sometimes I did definitely grind. Like before the giant lizard or whatever that one boss was, he was pretty tough. I definitely did some grinding before him because he just had a ton of HP. All right, now that I've got my uh, leather cuirass, cuirass, I think that's how they call it. Um. Let me save and then try this again. So this music is actually growing on me. This is not bad. Definitely has the spirit of Castlevania in it. Nothing else. And I'm sure that Konami is going to probably uh, content ID this video. <laughs> It's Konami, it's Konami. My very first live stream was uh, of Something the Night for the PSP. And it was uh, immediately content ID'd. <laughs> it was fun. Luckily not a strike, so I mean, I didn't really care since... I mean, it was just like a couple cents of ads anyway, but... Um... All right, let's do this. Oh, no, I've already gotten damaged by that damn bird. All right. Oh, remember that I kicked in the door. That's kind of cool. Yeah, definitely not getting back up that way. Yep, Konami. Used to be so awesome. But aren't you excited about the uh, Metal Gear Solid uh, zombie game? Because that's what a Metal Gear Solid is about, right? Zombies? Come on, heart. Fall a little bit further. A couple more inches, thank you. Uh, I should probably go down there and get that item real quick. Item, so hold down. So hold down, Ara. Oh, that's pretty cool. What an interesting magic system in this game. So, yeah, I mean, Middle Gear Solid was always about zombies, wasn't it? I, I don't remember anything else about Metal Gear Solid. International conspiracies, you know, secret government programs. Who, wh what's that all about? Okay, this is gonna this is gonna suck. Yep, it's already sucking. At least it doesn't go right into spikes, but it's just about as bad. I'm only taking one damage each now, which is nice. What that recovered means. Oh, 
come on. All right, so if I just jump. Oh, I hate these puzzles so much. This is old school Castlevania, though. Not really puzzles, but, you know, platforming sections. Okay. Hanging guy. Extra hearts. Pretty morbid. It's like some blood on the bed and stuff. Oh, so I don't actually get anything here other than the thing below it. Oh, okay. Well. At least we're through that area now. Why? I'm really thinking that I should be able to climb that. That doesn't seem... Maybe there's some gauntlets or whatever that I have to get before I can climb that. All right, so that house is clear. Well, you may get two birds with one stone, but you get three birds with one knife. Yeah, that's one thing I don't miss from the old sickle games is the uh, jumping puzzles and platforming. Sometimes it can get pretty hard. I guess I can climb these kind of ropes, but not the uh, green, the green spiky ropes, I guess. I don't get this, why I can't go over here. That's really odd. Collect some more money, I guess. I might, maybe I missed some uh, townspeople that told me the clue. This is kind of very much uh, Simon's Quest-esque, where you have to pick apart what each of the townspeople are saying to figure out where you're going and what you need to do. And Medusa heads are the worst. I can't... I think Medusa heads are slightly worse than uh, the little Igor, like little like hopping guys. Those guys are like the absolute worst. Well, no, I think Medusa heads are a little bit worse than them. <laughs> Those guys are annoying for sure, but... Some ropes are covered by thorns. You better not... Oh yeah, gauntlets, okay. That's what I kind of figured. I need gauntlets before I can climb those uh, screen places. So there's potions. I can't tell from these uh, entrances what these places are, because this is the guy who sells temporary items, yeah. Um, they don't expect you to buy holy water for that area, do they? If that's the case, that kind of sucks. So this inn is useless, it seems. Are there any other items from this guy that I need to buy? Mace. I mean, I could use the map, but that's gonna be a lot of, uh, a lot of saving up for that. Says, I mean, I have the broadsword. I can kill these guys, but I don't know what I'm supposed to do after. Giving us the true uh, Castlevania experience here of not knowing what the hell you're supposed to do. Yeah, I think Simon's Quest is one of the most frustrating games in history as far as just really not knowing what you're supposed to do. What is this about? Oh, uh, maybe I'm supposed to light that or something? I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Oh, that's what I'm supposed to do. Wow. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Well, I accidentally figured that one out. It's pretty cool. Dark. Mysterious. Gregoire kind of sitting in. Kind of interesting atmospheric noise here. Come on, bat.
Yeah, very cryptic. This these guys at least explain things better, but like uh it was due to like mostly the resolution and the uh lack of space. They really couldn't say a whole lot in many words, and back then they also didn't have very good translators, so sometimes the clues would be ridiculously difficult to interpret. Oh, evil purple night bees. Those are the worst. I guess. They should do a lot of damage. Oh no, the cross went away. No. I'm out of hearts, so I can't throw another axe. I don't know if I can actually hit that. Oh, just, just able to. There's a pit down there. Probably not a good pit. Am I supposed to use my powers for this? Mm, I guess not. Ooh, that was lucky. What's over here? Ooh, something shiny. Screen water. Oh, I can't get up there. Can't. <sighs> That's so annoying. That's actually really annoying to see an item that I got through a secret and not be able to get to it. What was that ring then? Oh, that's just what. Oh, right, the ring I couldn't get to. Jump down, crouch. Well, everyone is on the ground, duck, attack, sub over and enter, speak. All right, so there's no, there's no crouch walk that I can see as of yet, so I'm not missing something. Avoid those spiky vines. That looks like a precarious boulder there. Nice. Hearts max extend. Nice. Uh, if I should go here or the other way. Oh, this just lets me skip that cave. That's nice. This character seems like a bit big for the screen. I look at him. Climb that rope. I had a feeling that was a, a monster. He looked, he kind of blended with the ground, but with the grass. Yeah, I still can't get in there. This is definitely like a Metroid from the uh, the traditional sense, where there's a lot of things you can't get through yet, and you just have to remember them and come back when you can get them. It's pretty cool uh, fog and... Oh, nice. I like save points. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, the controls are a little awkward in here. I'd like to be able to map them. You can map the... Uh, controller controls, but it wasn't detecting my control at all, so... I have to debug that sometime. Oh, mini boss. Oh my god. Wow, they tore me apart there. That's did like a lot of damage. Oh right, my uh my video is a little awkward here. Uh Can I go back to menu? Is that a is that a thing? No, it's not a thing. Uh, let me just this, this uh, defaults back to a weird setting. Let me just close out of it real quick and restart it. If I can do such a thing. Yeah, it def it kind of messes up my window size. Sorry about that. It's just a a minor issue with the game. 
it re what it does is it resets the entire uh, game. Uh, resets the entire game uh, from the beginning and de and resets your video settings. So totally fine if you're just playing it on your own, but I just have a very specific uh, very specific setup here. So, all right, we're back. I don't know if I can actually take these guys out now that I think about it. it. Seems pretty damn hard, but maybe I'm supposed to use my special powers, but try one I'll try a couple more times, but it seems like I might be a little bit of ahead of my uh myself here. Yeah, eight damage right from that little uh Projectile. Can't they're kind of sticking with the background here. Oh, there's no way. There's no way I'm gonna be able to defeat that boss just yet. That's rough. Okay, back to I'll do back to main screen because I'll have to do my video settings again. Sorry about that. At least they give you a save point right before that, because I guess they figure you're going to be screwed. Yeah, I don't know if I want to brute force that, though. That seems like one hit and I'm basically half health. I don't know if that's the way I'm supposed to go, but... Oh, what's that rope up there? Can I grab that? Uh, I'm just out of my reach. No. are back. Oh, there's this ray, though, which is different. Ooh, big, big toothy fish. Okay. I do not want to be that, that fish's dinner. And platforming. That's what I love. I guess you shouldn't play with Castlevania games if you hate platforming, but... <laughs> oh, no. Oh, crap. Big fish. Not what I wanted. I take damage progressively while being in the water. That's not good. Not good at all. At least I'll let you take this route, but... Oh, no. Back to... Is this water, like, freezing or something? I mean, that's why I'm taking damage progressively. All right, patience. That's what I need is patience. I don't think these are timed exactly in sync, so I have to kind of wait for a good opening. Alright, grab the rope. Okay. 11 HP is not... Not too confident right now. Or I can just magically get all my health back up. Nice. That was worth it. Should get back to a save point in case I run into some crazy, crazy tough monsters all of a sudden. Oh, or fall back in the water. That too. 90 HP doesn't last very long when you, uh... Oh, don't get greedy, don't get greedy. Oh no, I missed it. This is a little bit of a cruel section here. I'm gonna get back to the statue so I can heal up. Kill the night bees. Yeah, even with 90 health, I, they they were doing like 15 damage a shot with that or something. That would go pretty quickly. Wait. Oh, okay. <laughs> Scared me. I thought the statue was gone. I don't remember exactly where it was. Okay. 
Nice place to fill up all your hearts, though. Oh. Didn't see that. I forgot about that guy. So I'm clearly needing some sort of ability. Yeah, this game's a little bit um, old school on this idea. I mean, this is still way more forgiving than the original Castlevania. The original Castlevania is, you know, password-based, uh, lives, continues, all that nonsense. Didn't have checkpoints every so often, so this is still much, much nicer than old school games, but damn. Just not used to playing games that really just give it to you like this. As much, you know. Oh, more bees. I hate these bees. I wonder if I should buy a mace or something. Or I, bet, I wonder if that's the next uh, big weapon I should buy. Damn bees. Or bats. Bats and bees. Oh, what was this about? Oh, Max Maximilian Count of Savigny. 1605-1899. What's that? It was a vampire, perhaps? Otherwise, he had really, really good health if it's going to last a couple hundred years. What's this area? Oh, I need a... Uh, somebody said something about needing something for the... The boat guy. I should I should pay attention to these clues more often. All right, so that's a boat guy. I'll probably go back to town and maybe see if I can buy anything. I'm probably gonna need a lot more uh, money for that though. I still feel like I'm missing something to be able to crouch. That doesn't seem like an ability that I should need to get to get, but maybe this guy's like you know got arthritis and he needs some sort of arth. Write us cure before he can crouch or something. I don't know. Alright, what else have you not Okay, so I only have about two hundred, so it'd be quite a quite a bit of grind to get a mace. And I can try to get up that one ledge by letting the bat knock me that way, but that does seem kind of seems like I'm taking advantage of an exploit or something. Oh the flute, right. Nobody's selling a flute, so it's probably something I have to find. Save here. Um, I can try that center area again to see if I can get knocked up. Playing this blind, I, I'm not one to like look up Wikipedias and stuff like that, unless I get really, really stuck. But I try to keep it pretty, uh, pretty legit while I'm streaming. Not a real door. Oh, I killed the crow. Damn it. I killed the crow. Let me go back. So I should leave the crow. I was just on autopilot killing everything I see. Alright, can kill skeleton. Kill spider. But leave crow. There we go. Now I can kill you, damn crows. That's a really weird. I wonder if that... Oh, that was probably what they... In oh, no. Oh, no. What? That is so mean. Oh, no. <laughs> That's so mean. Am I supposed to... Am I supposed to get the jump boots before this or whatever this game has? Ah, uh, that's so annoying. Maybe... Do the crows follow me? I doubt it. I don't think... Hey, crow.
Hey, Crow there. Or me? Hey, follow me up here. Oh, there's something from, uh, you've been using the rope now. <laughs> okay, I guess that answers that question. That sucks. Oh, I really want to get up there. I thought it was pretty clever the way I figured it out, but I guess they don't expect you to be that clever. I mean, it worked. It just, they had a another basically skill check right be, right before that. Damn. So what the hell? And I can't go down there because I can't crouch for some reason. So I need a flute, potions. <sighs> I'm not sure what else I can do here. I didn't get an item I didn't equip, right? Recover from weakness, that's just for combat. Oh, hey, welcome to the stream. All right. I don't know. I mean, the only other way is that one freaking boss, which seems ridiculously difficult. I don't know how I'm going to really pull that off unless I buy a bunch of potions, but I can only buy like one potion right now. So I'd almost rather save up for like a, a mace or something. Damn. Unless I was like 90% through the fight. I, mean, I did get a little bit of extra health and stuff since then, so maybe I can try it again. This game seems pretty hard. I'm about to figure out this puzzle, though. Okay, so I don't have a flute, so I can't go that way, so I'll just head this way. Extra money. So this ground looks a little bit different, but I guess not. Nope. I'm just speeding through here. Oh, there's a, it's a, a uh, statue up there so I can recover my health before the fight. Oh, I'm doing really sloppy right now. Up over the hole. Nice. I like when they open up shortcuts for you so you don't have to do sequences over again. It's very nice of them. Uh, come on. Wait, what's that? There's another rope back there? Oh, that's the rope I cut. That's right. This uh, seems intentional or deliberate here. I'm just going to see if there's any uh, secrets. Okay. This is not a secret area. All right. I'll believe you for now. Oh, I'm going to get wrecked here. I can, I can see it already. Maybe with full hearts, the cross, and a little bit of extra health, maybe. Can't go through there. This looked like an exit, but it's not. Okay, 90 health, full hearts. Let's do this, I guess. I'm going to die. So she'd remember the pattern. Damn. 
Damn it. You so much damage. Okay. Um, the hands, they appear so abruptly. Okay. So that didn't work out. Okay, so I'm going to back to the main screen, redo the video. Lord game. At least they put a save point right there. Four, that's... The least, uh, better, at least I have a little mercy on you. Okay, so they've got little guys here. I think they appear on the sides. And the hanging guys. If I can get these guys without getting killed, maybe. Alright, watch out for the hands. Just watch out for the projectiles. I guess it's not so bad. And the hands. Okay. And then these guys are hanging. Yeah, it seems to be the best place when you just get between these two. Yep, I remember my, my controls when I hit these guys. Alright. Just keep it up. Take out your guy. And then the far guy. Oh, alright. And then avoid the immediate hands that come out. get more than a couple hits on these on the tree itself. I forget that I have to attack the tree right after. Oh, he's really low though. I didn't realize there's a boss health bar right up there. Okay, avoid the hands. Hands bad. Oof. Alright, so if you just know the pattern I guess it's not too bad. Thank you. I'm going to go right back and save. Because <laughs> I am a wuss. Okay. Well, I guess that's the way we're supposed to go then. When I originally played it, I just like was getting insta-killed by those damn hands. But I guess if you avoid the hands and you figure out the other patterns, the projectiles and stuff, it's not so bad. Ooh, what's this? Oh, slide. There you go. Yeah, you called it. I kind of figured it was going to be a slide as well. Uh, I didn't even look at... I was just so excited about it. I didn't even look at what the key was. All right, there it is. Yeah, that'll let me get a lot of stuff then. All right, this is progress. As long as I don't die in the next, you know, two minutes. I'm going back to town. There's one place I can get right here, but at the bottom of this rope, I think. Yeah. Our blast mix. Okay. Heart's consumption. I don't know what it does. Oh, good thing I didn't save it for the mace because they have a mace right here. Yeah, that would have really sucked if I had uh, grinded all the way to get the mace. So just to find it for free. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. This control is a little awkward. It goes from a 10 to a 20. That's a very big increase. One shot. Nice. 
A little bit shorter range, but the double damage is nice. I don't remember, was there a... Is there a crouch thing over here? I don't remember if there was. Let's hop over that. Yes. One shot. Oh, the bees. Go away, bees. Makes fighting these guys a lot easier. Bats are still annoying, though. You get some better armor. <sighs> That's my vein. Oh my god, am I gonna die here? <laughs> uh, the jumping puzzles. No matter how, how much you go through them, they seem to just stay just as hard. Alright, uh, I think there's a, uh, it's a health back here though. All right, I'm gonna get the statue, and then I'm going to uh, get the thing at the bottom of the well. It's been wanting for a while. In case there's some more guys down there, I want to be ready for them. Heal up here. Not two shabs. And another potion. Oh, there we go. Capability. Hmm. Ooh, what is this? Oh, flute. Nice. So we're gonna take the. Uh, we can get to the uh, ferryman, I guess. It's all opening up for us. All right. Um, is there anything else that I could buy? How much money do I have? Four hundred. I think the map is six hundred or something. It's a little interesting how they have the up and out down arrows to signify the other. Oh, there's some other places over there. I think that might have been the um, ferryman in place, maybe. Uh, close out of that. Yeah. All right, let's take the boat. Little details like the crosses and stuff in the back. That's nice. Oh, okay. I played it. Nice. Hey, Boatman. What's going on? Sure, I'll take you to a good place. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. It's the place that had stuff in the... Yeah, there is stuff down there. But those are secrets. Oh. Oh, God. Maybe that wasn't such a good idea. Oh, no. Oh, no. Very bad. I regret everything. Oh. No. No. Okay. Well. <laughs> Let's see if I can uh, actually... I mean, I saw the, the gaps in the map, so I was like, there's got to be something down there, right? Is our ride. I'm going to get killed here. Really hoping there's a statue here somewhere. Not a boss right away. I'm about dead here.
This looks uh, just a little ominous. Uh, I don't have any uh, consumables, I don't think, do I? Probably shouldn't waste them in this anyway. No, they don't actually heal me. Not good. La Terrell Earldom. Uh, I can't get up there. Yeah, I'm gonna die here, I think. This is another cover from Symphony of the Night. Oh, these guys are doing 10 health. Yep, I'm dead. <laughs> All right, so that's probably where I need to go, but I should go there without jumping into the water. Back to main screen. Do the video trick again. Video mode. All right. Let's not jump into the water while we're being brought across the sea here. I think I saved it before I got the flute, so let me go back down to the well. Okay, let's do this again. Probably save it real quick just to make sure I don't have to go back down here and do this whole thing over again if I die. Okay, hopefully there's not a bunch of guys over here waiting to murder me. you birds it's like that trick I heard where you can uh, you can always if you're trying to slap and get a fly if you clap right above them like a foot above them even though they're still lying on the table you'll usually get them because they always fly straight up it's, I don't like the idea of slapping a, uh, a fly with my bare hands but I guess it works I've, to I've been told at least guys well before they spit out their little rocks or whatever. It's not too bad. Is that just a crit? I did 40 damage. Must have been a crit. Oh, there's a way up here too. Oh, that I can't grab it because I don't have the gauntlets. Probably get a gauntlet down here or or double jump. One of the one of the other. Oh, prepare to get murdered again. I keep on thinking there's going to be secrets here. Yeah, this is definitely a cover from uh, one of the songs in, in Symphony of the Night. It's one of the uh, caverns below. It's fitting, I guess. Oh, I take more. I take 40 damage. That's not good. Oh, what are these guys? jump all the way over there. Probably need double jump for that. Oh no. Uh, I hate jumping far down because you don't know if it's spikes or monster or whatever it is. What is this over here then? Medusa heads. That's what we're missing. Don't you just love Medusa heads? Oh, save point. Thank you. 
and hopefully I'll be able to survive this area. If not, then I'm kind of stuck down here. I'm assuming they're not that cruel to... Who is this? Red necklace. Oops. Still don't have the menu controls down very well. Aha. So that one... 50 protection, 50% is disabled. Okay. Oops. Can't, can't be too careful about secrets, right? I'm assuming disabled would probably be something that the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, Medusas probably do. I'm guessing. No, it's not. It's, um, I don't know. It's a different storyline. I know there's, Al actually, you know, it might be. I, I believe there's Alucard in this game, but it's a fan-made game, so it's not official or anything. And it's the second in the series, so I don't know if there's like a storyline I missed from not playing the original, but it was just released a couple days ago, so thought I'd uh, stream it. It could be a follow-up to that, that story. I'm not sure. Oh, this is a boss of some type, I guess. The lovely room of death. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that crap. This is bad. Rocks everywhere. I was supposed to kill the gears. That's interesting. I should probably get my head around the magic stuff here. I can heal myself. That's kind of uh, useful now, I guess. I think that was healing, wasn't it? Uh, maybe it's just recovery. I don't know. Just don't want to hit by those damn boulders. I can't hit the boulders. Worth a shot, though. That's gonna be bad if it if the grinder doesn't kill that one, this is gonna keep on rolling toward me then. Maybe I shouldn't do that. Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Bad idea. Oof, luckily that was the last one. A weird, uh, weird boss. Wait, can I go back there and recover? Where was the st where was the healing point? Uh, it doesn't say. I'm hoping the healing spot was right on the right of here. Was it? Hoping. Oh, wow. A lot of uh, money. Wait, I've not been here yet? How'd I get in that room then? Oh, I came down from the left from the left side, okay. I got turned around there somehow. How do you get turned around in a uh, two-dimensional game? <laughs> Get up to the save point? Oh no. That was the save point up there, right? Yes, it was. Oh god. I'm gonna get these guys with just. Oh no. Oh no. I have to do the boss over again. Oh, that sucks. <sighs> it's games, man.
RIP. For sure. Uh, I did not get this yet, I don't think. In the save? No, I did not. I should equip it. At least I know what to do now. So I hope that we'll get through that without losing all my health again. Hopefully. We just jump all the way down, I guess. No. No such luck. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm safe here. Nope, can't jump up there. Damn it. I can't jump up there. That'll, that'll get me still. So what's the best sequence here? It doesn't seem to be any good sequence. Oh, I can't stand up. Damn it. All right, I'm screwing this up really badly now. Um. That seemed moderate. I stood up again. Okay, moderately successful that. Okay, I got that one. Let me just get out of this way and then, okay, so I'm back here. I don't think they will, but it's kind of too hard, to, too late to try that out now. If I die, I'll try that, I guess. I'm playing it really safe here because I don't want to get hurt. over here there's just money so let me go back and heal watch it be like the next room is going to be another save point oh I can see that then I guess that works too <laughs> Cross. Let's hop over this thing, not get killed by Medusas, and then we're good. Okay. Sweet, sweet save point. So hopefully I can go over there and get some more money. I don't know if the map will be that useful or if I should save up for one of the other items. I already have the mace, which is what I was going to save up for next. Can I... No, oh, okay. Thought I might be able to slide under that. No such luck. Okay, oop. Bad bat, bad bat. Yeah, I forget that was probably a uh, secret there. This looks like a mini boss. Why does this look like a mini boss? Because it is. Oh, that looks morbid. Oh, that's going to destroy me here. Oh, that's really kicking my ass. Ew. 
Okay, they've got a lot of mini bosses in this game. Oh no. Damn it. I screwed up something here. Uh hang on. Let me just re rerun the game again. Forgot to do the video trick. I can't read the comments if I do if it unless I re read that. All right, let's try it again. Jump down here. Nobody remembers that I killed this boss kid. <laughs> All right, that was top. Maybe I should go bottom first. That sounds good. Okay, 800 gold. So I would be able to buy the, uh, if I wanted to, be able to buy the map now. I don't know if that would reveal secrets or if it just make things a little bit, oh, I got, the, got the, uh, the diamond. I don't know if I actually want that. They don't drop the, your last item here, unfortunately, in this game. That was a good feature from the prior games. If you, when you pick up a new, uh, secondary, if you drop the last one you got. So this looks ominous. Just open something, huh? Uh, it didn't open that. That's weird. What did it open then? It opened something way no, it wouldn't open something way up there, would it have? Uh maybe I don't know. This boss is gonna be um, um, really annoying. He just covers the entire screen where he's just to just duck under him. Slide under him, I guess. Yeah, I'm not even close to killing this guy. This guy looks a lot harder than the last one. The last one he get, had a distinct pattern. This one seems to kind of just cover half the screen in his uh, arm. I think about 50% of the stream is going to be me uh, in the main menu. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. Jump down the long. Now, what does that open then? I'm really curious as to what that, what that one. Uh, gear hitting that one gear opens it's not the it's not the gate right above that oh it is see there's two yeah they see there's two gates right there and when I flip that switch there was only one after so I shouldn't bother with that switch until after I could probably kill the thing above it oh Trixie Hobbits is all right That's going to be really annoying. Come on. I can't even get out around that guy. And I specifically have to slide under him. It sucks. I had 96 damage. 
Oh. I just did 96 damage with my fireball. Maybe I should do that. That seems pretty good. Didn't realize it would be that huge of a discrepancy in my, between my attacks and my uh, magic. All right, let's do this again for the 15th billionth time. I'm already pretty full on hearts. All right, so I should definitely charge up my fireball since that seems to waste them away. And not even bother with the, um, the cross, I guess. Something like that. Don't have time for you, Bat. Okay. Come at me, bro. Damn it, wasted it. Oh, I wasted one. Oh, it's hitting his arm. Shit. Oh, that's annoying. You have to watch out, because if you get hit, it gets interrupted. If you hit his arm, the attack gets interrupted. Uh, that's annoying. I'd like to at least be able to beat this boss before I end off here. Alright. Guess who's back? Back again. Lit card's back. I really like the bosses that just shoot tons and tons of bulb. Just cover. Oh, no, no. I wasted. already wasted some. She used tons and tons of uh, screen covering attacks. I forgot my controls. Great. Uh, that's not going to work if I, I had to dodge his attacks, too. That only did, like, a third of his health. Oh, that's annoying. That is really annoying. And I messed up the uh, thing again. Great. These bosses. I don't know if there's something else I'm missing. I mean, that seems to be the way to go. You can't level up, so you really can't grind other than, like, actually going back and buying things. But, I mean, stuff I could buy isn't really all that useful. So maybe the cross is the way to go with this guy. He shoots his projectile out of, like, the middle of nowhere, though. That's the problem. It doesn't actually shoot out of his head. Yeah, waste some more of those. Ah, uh, come on. I'm out of hearts now. No, I'm not, not going to work. <sighs> you have to be so... You have to be so... You already have to be dodging while it shoots. You have to actually treat it rhythmically. That's annoying. You can't, like, actually dodge it because it comes out of, like, nowhere. It comes out of the center of the screen. 
basically the hot spot was just kind of placed oddly. Don't we love this screen? We love this screen, don't we? Oh, great. <sighs> I must be like restarting right now because I've already gotten a hit. It's kind of game over already. Nothing I can use here, is there, that I actually am missing? No, cover from weakness to save, well, that's not really that big of a deal. Hmm. Doesn't have the, it wouldn't have the boss on the chart yet, right? No, it wouldn't have the boss there. Already one hit down, it's not looking good. Okay, not too bad of a start. Okay, so far so good. I'm just gonna be doing this little slide thing. Okay, just powered through it that time. Okay. Oh, I hate I hate bosses like that. Got the cross though. Sweet, sweet health. Okay, I am probably going to crawl back and save <laughs> to that boss. All right, let's see if there's hopefully not, nothing too bad here. Oh, here's just a gear. Okay. Okay, yeah, there it wasn't too bad either. I could probably pull it off. I have 150 health as long as I don't do terribly. Oh. <sighs> Screw you, bat. Screw you, skeleton. Sabled. No. Alright, I'm definitely gonna go back and save before I go to the next area, though. That would seriously suck having to do that boss over again. Alright, I had to redo the, uh, the minor boss. Mining tunnel boss, whatever that was. All right. Recovered. Oh, is that like a long status? Is disabled that long? Wow. I think I think I just realized that that was from being disabled. Huh? That's weird. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, I'm just gonna climb up. I think. bother with those fools. So you want to do is die from those guys again after fighting a boss. Uh, actually, I do want the cross. The cross kind of saved me that last time. The diamond is useful in theory, but in practice, not as much. The cross, the idea of the cross, at least that's how I always took it. It's like you, you want to basically, it goes like... And it slows down. You, the part where it slows down, you want that to be right where your your boss is. That way, you, it hovers over him and it hits him like four times or whatever. That's the idea, at least. All right. And so I got both the gears. This door is nice and open. Nice. Hopefully not another boss. Oh. Of course. 
bronze key, that... Oh. Maximilian de Sevigny. The coffin is huge. It's empty. Oh my god. Could it be a vampire or something? Vampire in Castlevania? What is that? No, I'm I'm kidding. This this is all good foreboding and stuff. I'm I'm just joking around. I didn't miss anything here. There's one door up there which I did not get to. Maybe that's the door I need to have the key for. It's going up that damn uh crawl up there again. It's a bronze door. Uh, too fast. Patience. Now I'm gonna get the Medusa heads. Oh, it's this area. I couldn't get to because of the hooks. Oh, crap. I don't know if I can actually get to that. I have to jump way, way up there, maybe? Let's try it, I guess. Don't respond that skeleton guy. So the old school Castlevanias used to do that. They have to respawn as soon as they're out of your screen. That was really annoying. Nope. I wonder if I can get that without a double jump. Guess so. Just barely. <laughs> this is... No. No. Stop it, guys. Okay, this rope goes down, the other one goes up. Okay, so it's not as bad as it looks. It just looks un unusually cruel. Ah, crap. No, go away. That's really annoying. Alright. Slide under. And bats, out of nowhere. Ooh, new armor though. Okay, all is forgiven. All is forgiven. Let's keep on missing that button. 712, that's pretty substantial. If there's any that actually uh, alters appearance, that'd be kind of cool. At least like a color scheme or whatever. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Nope. <sighs> Too high. Oh boy. I'd like to climb up and save again, huh? Should I? Where am I exactly? Oops. Wrong button. I should probably save again. Just to be safe. That was the save one over there. That was kind of a waste. Okay. I just hate having to repeat stuff again and again. That's all. So far, his blessings have not been helping. And so far, he's been fighting any conceivable monster ever, even rocks. The rocks don't even like this guy. Come on, platform. Come on. Hate those purple hands. 
All right, bronze key. What does the bronze key open then? It's not this area. I need some sort of jumping ability here. Okay, so it's looking at this area. Then what's what's the bronze key for? I don't remember running into a door that needed a key, unless I'm mistaken. having a locked door or anything like that. That was wrong key again. Uh, I don't remember a, a locked door. Gotta be some sort of thing around here that has a obviously locked door or something. To the right, I was stopped because I couldn't jump up a certain platform, I think. Unless I'm misremembering something. What's that down there? Oh, maybe there's a... There's one area down here that I couldn't get to without the... Without the uh, crouch or whatever, I think. Let me see if that's there. It might be the place. Yeah, I haven't checked out this area, I don't think. Oh, it's an extra heart. More hearts are always good. This was a, always a confusing because this game, uh, unlike most other games, didn't treat hearts as life. They treat hearts as like ammo, which is different. I mean, this series. Actual Castlevania series, I mean. This isn't a, a drop down, is it? No. Um. Oh, it's this way. I didn't go this way, did I? Stay dead skeletons, please. Oh, this is pretty cool. Doesn't seem ominous or anything. Let me just check out the other areas first. So we could actually go on the other, a complete other way then. We wouldn't have to actually take the, uh, the bridge over. Or the ferry. Oh, this guy's actually has a lot more health than I thought he did. Seem to increase the damage of the uh, the base weapons or the secondary weapons a lot, which is cool. What does this thing do actually? Could I walk through it? Oh, it's a fast travel. Ooh. Earldom of Sivigny. Hmm. There's a lot more damage to some guys than others. Those guys is one shot, but for the uh, big ghoulie guys, they uh, take like three or four of them. Uh-oh. That's not good. That's even worse. Oh, get up, get up, get up. And I lost my, I lost my uh, dagger. That would have been perfect for this. Got this 
so much damage. Could it be a... Uh... Ooh, that seems like a really ominous house that I probably don't want to go into. Savini Mansion. Okay, that's probably where the vampires are, I'm thinking. Or at least some bad stuff. Whoa! Okay, 40 damage. <laughs> Alright. Alright. Well, I think I might actually end off here pretty soon. Um, it's been about two hours. That was kind of what I was planning to do. I started a little bit early. But, um, I think that's fun. I'm going to try to get stream more regularly. Uh, I think it'll be helpful in building up a little bit more of a streamer base and people, more commenters, whatnot. So I think that'll be uh, something I try to do in the next coming month or so. And I, like I said, I'm setting up a better place. So I should be able to have more permanent fixtures for streaming and everything. I won't have to like set up, close it all down every time. So that's the idea at least. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed the stream. Uh, this game is really fun, actually. It reminds me a lot of uh, AM2R, which was a really, really good um, Metroid uh, fan game that I streamed. It was like my third or fourth game I streamed. Um, so this is along the same lines. Like they, It's got some little rough edges here and there, like some of the voice acting like we talked about was a little bit rough. But overall, really, really, really good for a fan project. It's like really well made. So I recommend checking it out. Um, a search uh, Castlevania Lacard Chronicles 2. Um, I'll probably put the link in the VOD. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, until next time, see ya.